Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at this really awesome educational game I've recently discovered that came out in May of 2017 known as Bio Ink Redemption. This is a pretty cool game, let's check it out together and welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So what exactly is this game? Well, first of all, it's kind of similar to another game by the name of Plague uh, Inc. And I believe it's by the same company. Very similar features, very similar sort of games, gameplay, but really unique and super, super awesome, super fun. So first of all, you actually have a choice here. You can play as a villain and basically kill a person, or you can play as a doctor and try to cure a person. Now, I'm not going to spoil this part, it is very very fun, you should try this and purchase the game, but we're going to play through Choose Life, we're going to basically play as a doctor and try to cure a patient, and I'm going to show you how this works. Now first of all, there's actually quite a lot of unlocks and quite a lot of levels you can choose from, uh, this basically kind of increases the difficulty of the game as you progress, and it will kind of uh, require some replayability, and in that sense it's, it is kind of challenging, uh, because even the first mission you'll be playing is going to be pretty hard. So let's actually check out um, one of the missions here. And I'm actually playing one of the earlier missions and I'm just going to choose moderate because I know this game gets really, really difficult, really, really fast. So um, here we go. We're going to continue the game. And basically in the beginning, because you, you finish certain levels, you may have uh, done some unlocks. This is similar to Plague Inc. Where you can actually uh, spend some... Of your experience points to get yourself a bit of a boost so here there's quite a lot of different sort of unlocks that they can kind of put in here and i believe i don't have enough points to unlock that much but let's just maybe um choose this because this will give us a little bit more points in the beginning and so all right so let's let me show you how this game works it's actually pretty brilliant pretty original and uh, super fun now this would probably work more on a tablet or on a phone but even on the PC, it's actually kind of fun. So, when you do, uh, our, our goal is to identify 12 diseases before John Smith dies. And um, we'll also possibly need to treat the diseases as well. But anyway, so here is your patient. You can actually go through different systems that he has. And they're quite uh, well described. And um, you will see once in a while, there will be like these pop-ups. These are the points you have to collect. Each of the points goes in here. And you can then use these points to do different medical things. So let me just get enough points so I can show you what it's like. All right, you'll notice that he's actually not doing so well anymore. And um, he's kind of losing quite a lot of blood. He's losing um, some of his nervous system here. So we need to go into biomap and check out what's going on with him. So here, there's quite a lot of things you can do. This is actually where this game really blew my mind when I saw this. So this is technically, you, you're basically, you play as a doctor and you have to try to diagno diagnose the disease this person has through various symptoms, just like a regular doctor. So the symptoms and their severity is on the left. Um, and you basically kind of click on them and it shows you what uh, part of the body might be affected. All right, so we're gonna click on all of them because they'll actually get kind of memorized by the game system here. And uh, just from the look of it, it seems that he has some heart problems and possibly some brain problems. So let's let's start with the heart. Now, for um, for the heart here, you'll notice that he's losing quite a lot of um, heart circulatory system, and um, you can basically click on these different problems that he might have, and these are all potential problems that you now can actually test for. Using those points we've been collecting, we can actually run a few tests. So, for example, we know that he has very, um, very high fatigue, uh, chest pain, and dizziness. So he might have angina. So we're going to go ahead and test for it using exercise electrocardiogram, uh, which basically explains to you what it is. It's it's it's, it's an actual machine uh, that tests for angina. So we're going to run this test. Uh, we'll possibly also run another test because it, it's very likely that he has more than one disease. The, the way this game works is that it kind of throws like. 12 diseases that you, this person is practically almost dead. I guess they're maybe like really old or something. And um, this kind of gives you a lot of challenge. And so you have to diagnose various diseases. There's also two more things you can do here. You can go into lifestyles and basically improve this person's lifestyle, which we'll do right now. Uh, this will give them an uh, increase in circulatory system, which we actually need right now. And you can also go into intensive care. And when the person is practically almost dead in one part of the body like for example if their heart is given up you can actually give them like a heart transplant or lung transplant or uh, neurogener uh, regeneration so these are emergency procedures that will cost quite a lot of points anyway 
So we're now diagnosing his stuff and oh, look at that, he's eating vegetables, so we told him to eat healthy. Uh, and he does seem to have hypertension. And but he does not have any angina. Let's collect some points. Time to um, relieve him of hypertension. We're going to use some drugs for that. But first, let's collect some more points. Or actually, in this particular scenario, it seems that diseases are treated dramatically. We don't even have to treat them. In the previous scenario I was playing, um, I had to manually treat them and spend points on this. Here, I just have to diagnose them and they'll be treated automatically. So let's go ahead and diagnose the next thing. So hypertension has already been cured. Um, I believe in the previous scenario, what I had to do is basically either use diuretics or alpha blockers to, to treat uh, this person. But this time I don't have to bother with that. So, oh, oops. All right, so here we go. He has loss of reflexes, he has headaches and paralysis. Wow, okay, so he's paralyzed. And he's also, he also has dizziness. Um, so there's some brain problems going on here. He also has these. Uh, so let's see what he might have. He might also have a major depression. Hmm, interesting. He might have major depression. So what we're gonna do is let's actually run a full brain MRI scan. It'll actually test for a lot of things. Uh, it does cost a lot, but usually this finds quite a lot of different disorders. Um, oh no, his heart is bleeding. That's not good. That clearly cannot be good, right? Um, all right, so we're gonna test um, his brain and discover what's wrong with his brain. He's currently at 56% health. We're only discovered one disease. He's not doing so well. Um, I've actually lost this game a few times already. It is super hard. You need to like really know your stuff. And you actually learn these medical terms and medical, medical uh, procedures as you play this game. All right, we discovered blood clots, stroke, seriously, and Parkinson's disease. This has to be the sickest person in the world. John Smith, I don't know how you've been living this whole life, but you clearly have quite a lot of disorders. All right, he has um, some skeletal problems that are happening right now. I need to... Collect white ones and blue ones more so than the red ones because they do give me more points. Uh, okay. Wow, quite a lot of them popping up. Quite a lot of them popping up. Oh, I'm missing one. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, this is so fast. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, uh, so this has been cured. Let's uh, go with the next possible diseases he might have. So what are we looking at here? Uh, dizziness, paralysis. So possibly some heart disease again. I think he might have angina, which I don't oh know. Wait, I tested for angina. He didn't have it. All right. Well, let's run our ultrasound and also maybe. Oh, boy. He's not doing well at all. OK, he's in the emergency room. That's not good. In critical condition, John Smith has been admitted to emergency room. We need to. Uh, oh, yeah. So our diagnosis is 25 cheaper, 25 uh, percent cheaper and treatments are also cheaper as well. Uh, we can actually push our limits here and then at the last moment, we'll give him a brain transplant. The last possible moment, not brain transplant. What am I talking about? I think I believe it's neuroregeneration. So this guy is clearly suffering. All right. We found uh, deep vein thrombosis. He's basically dying from everything possible, every possible disease you can imagine. He's uh, not a very healthy person, that John Smith guy. Okay, let's run this test. Let's give him a neurological test as well. Um, we need to prepare for our neuroregeneration. For now, though, oh, wow. He's also struggling with the muscles here. He's, his muscles are actually completely giving up. Um, insomnia and hemiaparesis. Wow, I, I've never even heard of this. Let's, let's go look it up. What is, what's a hemiaparesis? So, hemiparesis is a weakness of the entire left or right side of the body. And it's usually treated with physiotherapy. That's very interesting. I didn't even know that. All right, let's give him some muscle uh, transplant. So, this is an anabolic steroid therapy. We're going to basically inject him with steroids and this will cure his muscles. His muscles are back to okay-ish condition. Not normal, but okay. All right, we need to cure five more diseases. We can do it. We can do it. No panic. Don't panic. Oh, no, we didn't find anything. I cannot not panic when the music is so uh, intense. Wow, he's really struggling here with a lot of stuff. Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. Okay, 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 okay. He's really pushing it to the limit here. Okay, so we're running quite a lot of tests right now because we want to really find out what's wrong with this guy. We need to find five more diseases. Okay, he does not have angina. I kind of knew that though. No? I don't know, maybe. Anyway, we need to get ready to give him uh, some brain regeneration. 
We found high cholesterol, but he has nothing else. Wow, okay, and he doesn't have these either. Uh, he does not have lung cancer. Okay. So he has pre pretty much everything else, though. Okay, it was about time we gave him that uh, nervous transplant. All right, so suddenly his immune system is in overdrive. He's going to be producing a lot and a lot of uh, resources for me. But, um, okay, UV testing found that he has photosensitivity as well. Wow, poor guy. I really feel for him. He's, he's not a very healthy person. Okay, I'm getting ready for that nervous uh, bio regeneration. And I need to make sure I don't I don't miss the chance because he is gonna die otherwise. Okay, 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 here we go. Uh, he has no chronic fatigue. Let's do it now because I'm gonna forget it otherwise. Here we go. Intensive care. Give me some brain neuro regeneration. And possibly... Let's change his lifestyle and maybe give him a boost in brain here as well. By basically helping him re relaxation therapy and yoga. This will definitely help him improve a little bit. Okay, he's back to kind of normal. Not really normal, but better. Better than before. The music has improved. Okay, now his skeletal system is not doing so well. We still need to find three diseases. This is not going well for us. Alright, poor John is not doing so well anymore. He is basically... His body is falling apart. At this point, his body is really falling apart. I still cannot find out what's wrong with him. We have three diseases left to find. And at this point, I think we might actually lose the game. We might end up losing the game. Oh, we found two! He apparently has nervous breakdown. Who wouldn't? He's practically dead. And also chronic stress. Same reason, same explanation. When you have one, one more to go, do not find anything here. Do not find anything here. I need to find one more, one more, one more. One more needs to be found. And here we go, three more tests. Hopefully we'll find something. If we don't find anything, we're kind of possibly dead. Or he's possibly dead. Anyway, here we go, here we go, come on. Crossing our fingers, and... Nothing, nothing. We did this one. Oh no, he doesn't have any of these. He doesn't have any of these. Why not? Why doesn't he have any of these? No. Okay, where else can it be? Maybe it's in here. And... Here we go. No, still nothing. Still nothing. We did not find what's wrong with this guy. I don't... I cannot seem to find it. Okay, it's a chest pain. It's possibly... Okay, we tested all of these. Maybe it is one of these. Can he have this? Is he maybe allergic to tests? Maybe because I did too many tests on him. He's allergic to them now. We're also going to test uh, for whatever that is. Uh, pulmonary angiogram. We'll be testing him for embolism. Hmm, interesting. And lastly, do we have enough points to do this as well? Yeah, here we go. These are the last tests I can do before he possibly passes out and expires completely. And we just need to find one more disease. One more problem. One more thing. One more. One more. Come on. Here we go. Nothing. Nothing. Still nothing. <sighs> we found that he has asthma. Asthma. He has asthma. All right, we won. There we go. Done. We won the mission, but barely. This is quite stressful, actually. Anyway, so this is how this game works. It is absolutely brilliant. I honestly think this is probably one of the most fun educational games I've played in a really long time. We've now unlocked Residency. Uh, and obviously gets a lot more difficult. But the essence of this game is really simple, really brilliant, and super, super fun. So do check out Bio Inc. Redemption. It's uh, available on Steam. It's actually one of the most sold games right now, as of May 2017. But I honestly think this is something that you should consider getting, not even because it's educational, but because it's actually kind of fun, and will definitely teach you a lot about medicine as well. Anyway, whether you are a medical student, or you like biology, or whether you just like challenging games, give this game a try. Super fun. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Come back tomorrow to learn something else, and I'll see you tomorrow. Space out, and as always, bye-bye.